Phyllis Crystal method is built on the foundation of no control. I do not control anyone and I do not let anyone or anything inside or outside of me control me. Sometimes I listen to stories of how one person said this, said that, did this, did that with the other person. It has so much to do with that person wanting to control the other person or the person who is upset allowed that person to control them. Or a better way to put it is they allowed themselves to be controlled by the other person. Even getting upset about what that person said or what that person did is also allowing yourself to be controlled by their words and behavior. The key word here again is control. How do you tell the other person? So what can we do without being controlling ourselves? What we can do and should do if that is what we choose to do is to not let that person control you. I cannot control other people, but I can stop the control of other people over me. I have that right and also responsibility in any form of control. My desire to control somebody or other person controlling me or me letting other person to control me, whether it is their behavior, their words, or even their memory. Just do figure eight with that person. What does figure eight do? Figure eight sends a strong message to that person subconsciously that you go back into your circle and let me stay in my circle. In other words, I'm not here to control you and you cannot control me or I do not allow you to control me. The latter is more correct. I don't allow you to control me much better than arguing or telling the other person, convincing the other person and suggesting to the other person and showing the other person that you are controlling. Just do a figure eight with that person. If you like, you can even say, I release you with love and the good of your own world. No matter how good your intentions are, controlling other people is not your right or your responsibility and is not loving. Control is opposite of love. If you are controlling other people in the name of helping and loving, no, you're not helping or loving that person by controlling that person. If you're allowing the other person to control you in the name of, oh, I don't want to hurt that person's feeling, that's not love, that's not care. So I'm not suggesting to any one of you that we should start picking up fights with people. What I'm suggesting is that if you choose to relinquish mutual control between you and somebody else, then just do a figure eight with that person instead of talking about that person and talking to that person. This is much more powerful as the message gets across to the other person subconsciously. And when I'm doing a figure eight with that person, I'm sending a message to that person that I love me. I care about respecting my boundaries and you please also respect my boundaries. You stay in your circle and you let me be in my own circle of golden light. How beautiful. Thank you Phyllis, thank you Heisey for this beautiful gift.